Hi, I'm Adam Scott Miller, one of the guest artists at the 2011 Alchemized Visionary Art Conference. Life before it is defined by language, before it is imprisoned by the cultural context of belief, of what exists or does not exist, of what is acceptable, of what is relevant. Being open to the mystery in, in the moment. I believe that making, creating, and appreciating art is a primary human motivation. The need of the artist, indeed the uh, need of every human being, to externalize the internal conception of things in context in the world. While political history is the history, the evolution of power among peoples and nations. The history of art describes the evolution of the human as a perceiving and feeling being seeking to express self. We filter out what is programmed as a distraction to our purposes. As described by neuroscience, our brains actually behave more like um, translators as receivers of an unfathomable field of information beyond comprehension. And then, in translation, behave like reducing valves of that vast field of energy into the bubble of reality that we define as our personal world, as life. Language blocks images from becoming conscious. Language defines what we can and cannot see. Instead of scanning over the top of everything, labeling and prejudging, if we stopped at any single thing and experienced it fully in the presence of now, we would find that there are universes within each thing that we are not even glimpsed. The potential for anyone to be a visionary artist is one of us. It's not determined by skill, by experience, or by technique, but by the understanding that an artist must remove themselves from ordinary, mundane, clothes, vision experience of reality, removing themselves from that, that mindset of ordinary life experiences to artistically portray that which is intangible, making the invisible visible. All signs point to the recognition that we must do this. We must each of us get in touch with our our expanded mind and adapt to survive. And those subtler signs imply that this shift is towards a new worldview that honors and experiences reality as an interconnected intelligence and ecology of energy. The concept and experience of the all-pervasive fields of mind as as we know, a long recorded history, but in our time of accelerating change and disorientation, a reorientation to a deeper and truer experience of the energy of mind, cosmos of life, must become the new normal. To comprehend and live in greater resonance, these significant but ignored aspects of reality must be experienced, and that is the role of visionary creativity.
I've been drawing since I could hold a pencil. Entranced in this sense of something magical and giving shape to my imagination and discovering before my eyes in those moments of creativity. Giving form to an internal process as the metaphors of alchemy make the soul's own transformations perceptible. Symbols are the keys to dialoguing with the unconscious mind. As an artist, I have this sense of being an explorer, sailing into unknown territory to bring back maps, to share of lands we are not yet in or aware of. We are literally swimming in a sea of vibratory information, and our conscious minds only dimly begin to apprehend less than a percent of a percent. And that tiny window we have is only made sense of by the significance of symbol. Esoteric, archetypal, alchemical, and geometric symbols are in my visions as they speak from a place of universality, a shared space that is transcended yet implicit to the nature of reality. How could nature not be conscious if our consciousness is produced by nature?